I'm Alex Love reporting for Greer Today News coming to you from Dooley Field tonight. We talk Greer football. The North Augusta Yellow Jackets came up to town for the first round of the playoffs. Greer High tried to hold them off, but the North Augusta Yellow Jackets took home the victory 52 to 34. Afterwards, we caught up with their quarterback, Washington of North Augusta, to talk to him about some of the key plays of the game and what they're going to be looking forward to in the rest of the playoffs to come. Landon, talk about the bus ride real quick coming up here. North Augusta, pretty long drive. So how are you guys staying focused, not trying to get too cramped up from the long trip up here? Um, we took a break on the way, we went out to eat and um, we stayed focused the whole bus ride home. I mean, bus ride here. Um, had headphones on, just staying focused for the, uh, this big game. You guys were really quick to start off early and always kept up with the scoring with Greer. Whenever the Yellow Jackets scored, you guys also scored. Yes, Talk about the communication you had there on the field in the first half, connecting with your receivers and communication with the offensive linemen. How was it getting done? Um, we just knew we had to play fast. Greer had a real good defense, and um, we just had to punish the holes and uh, get the ball to the receivers like we did for the majority of the game. Now let's talk about the arm real quick. Exactly <laughs> what happened out there in the second half. Uh, you know, walk us through that play. Um, just scrambling for it to get uh, running room and got tackled and it kind of fell on my shoulder. Talk about though your backup coming back in though mm -hmm. and uh, and the team staying strong, uh, mm -hmm. going up by uh, over three touchdowns. You know, mm -hmm. how were you guys getting it done? Um, we're a family. Uh, Clary was well prepared. Well, his name Nick. He was well prepared. Um, our offensive line was well prepared. So we um, we just kept it pushing and we played really good. When you were out there down on the field, how, what did you see out there that you really liked in terms of uh, what you were doing? What was your favorite part of your playing tonight or your wide receivers, offensive linemen? Just talk about it. Um, I stayed very poised. I, I didn't panic as much as I normally would. My offensive line didn't panic. We were calm and collective the whole game, and we came out with a win. Yeah. Now, now with this victory, you guys will move ahead in the playoffs. Do you have any idea where you'll go yet, or just what are you guys going to work on um, in the weeks to come to be ready for round two? Looks like we're playing BHP, so we're going to get prepared prepare for them all next week. Um, try to stay focused throughout Thanksgiving and just come out, try to come out with a win. Coach Brian Tompkins of North Augusta was also very pleased with how his Yellow Jackets performed tonight. We caught up with him afterwards to talk about the key plays in the game and also what they'll be looking forward to as they take on BHP in the next round to come. Coach, let's talk about this game coming in the first round. You're pretty far from home, so how did you stay focused <laughs> in this kind of environment and able to put up those points? Well, like I said, we try to, you know, try to break the bus ride up a little bit. Uh, you know, I know the tradition of Greer. I was in Greenville County for four years and uh, before I went up to North Carolina and, and I know the tradition of Greer and they got a great football program and great fan base and uh, great community support so like I said I knew it was going to be a tough task coming up here but uh, like I said the kids focused and did well. Let's talk about the defense out there. You know, the Greer Yellow Jackets were kind of shut down with incomplete passes and broken up passes. What was the communication you guys were focusing on? How was it getting done? Just getting back to, to, to doing the basics. I mean, we were getting out of our lanes, getting get, getting some things that, that, you know, that we don't normally do, you know, not the coach to do. And uh, like I said, once we settled those down in the third quarter, and the third to the middle of the fourth quarter, we played well. And, you know, that's, that's the key is the kids played well and they played hard. Let's talk about Washington going down. His arm, uh, his his arm and shoulder was disconnected, but you you had a backup come in and you guys still got it done. You know how do you uh, keep that hopes up? And what do you think of Washington's yeah, recovery? Uh, Landon had a great great game and uh, threw the ball well, and he's been doing been throwing the ball well. And uh, like I said, we'll just have to go back and evaluate it and hope everything's okay. And uh, like I said, whatever happens next week happens. We'll we'll see what we have to do. We got a quarterback, and uh, and we'll go with it. Now looking ahead, you guys are playing BHP next week is what it looks like to your players. So just what do you think you guys are going to work on? What did you see out here that you might want to be better on or just uh, what do you yeah, like that you'll keep the same? We definitely got to get better on special teams coverage. Uh, that and, and not giving up the big play. You know, outside of that, you know, being but don't break, you're going to give up some yards to good football teams, but uh, you can't give up the touchdown. Landon Washington completed 14 for 19 tonight, totaling to 227 yards and two touchdowns. Those two touchdowns came from Dejon Bell and Darius Gibson. Gibson also led the team in rushing 33 attempts totaling to two touchdowns and 118 yards. Quay White led the Greer High Yellow Jackets on the ground nine attempts for 121 yards and one touchdown. Trey Houston was taking the snaps tonight for Greer High 13 completions for 22 attempts, one interception, but 153 yards and one touchdown. Now afterwards, we caught up with Quay White to talk about his key plays tonight, as well as a few kick returns that he had for the Yellow Jackets returned back for touchdowns and what he'll be looking forward to in the offseason to come. Quay, for the last game, and, and talk about the, the kick returns as well. What were you seeing on the field and the communication with the blocking to make all those plays happen? I just seeing big, wide open holes, you know. Got to try to hit them things as hard as you can to get a touchdown. You know, the team needed it, and we we trying to do everything we can to stay in the game. So I had to do what I had to do. And 
blocks that I do what they had to do too. You had some uh, good passes out there tonight that also connected for touchdown. So talk about the communication you had out there with Houston tonight as well as the offensive line. How did you guys get that done? Uh, we were just trying to try new things. You know, I haven't been playing. I haven't played wide receiver since like Burns or um, Westside game. So, you know, they picked me out there just to see what happened, just to test them out, just to see if we can get things rolling, you know. So it was, we did pretty good on that part. Now looking at now looking ahead a little bit, you know, you still have uh, one more year here at the Greer here at Greer High. So just talk about the training you guys might do in the off season, or talk about what you're looking forward to come next season. Stepping up, being the senior, having the leadership, filling in the holes that the current class is stepping down from. You know, just trying to take the take the spot of Alex Cipher. You know, he led the team just like Noah Hannon. Um, got him. He got the team together. You know, kept kept everybody head up, and I'm just ready. I'm ready for the off season and get back get back on our grind and just keep go keep pounding. We also caught up with Trey Houston to talk to the sophomore about what were his favorite memories of this season, what were his favorite plays tonight, and how the Yellow Jackets were getting it done with the offensive line and his chemistry with Quay White and the rest of his wide receivers. Houston, obviously, I know it wasn't the way you wanted to end the season, but let's talk about you and Quay tonight. Your chemistry out on the field was phenomenal on the passes and the handoffs, so tell me what was going on out there. I mean, we just had to run a play like we did in practice, and we had to stay confident through the practice, and we just ran through the play how we did in practice, and that's what we did in the game. Let's talk about some of your favorite plays, perhaps, whether it was the passes in the touchdown or you saw him on those kick returns. So so just tell me, what, what, what did you see out there that you really liked from your offensive linemen or just uh, your wide receivers working around along with Quay? My offensive line was giving me good blocks. My wide receivers was catching everything for me at the – during the game, so that's what I like. And what are you going to take from this season and, and, and take it forward and learn from uh, that you're going into your junior year when you step in your upperclassmen years? You know, what are you going to take from that you learn as you become more of the leader role on this team as you're in your second half of high school? I mean, be with my team more, be with my offensive line more, have good chemistry with my, with my team and have good chemistry for the next guys that's going to move up and stay poised throughout the game. Now remember, for all the latest updates with Greer football and all the rest of your sports and other local breaking news around Greer, South Carolina, log on to greertoday.com as well as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram for all your social media updates that we will keep you on. I'm Alex Love reporting for Greer Today News. Thank you for watching.